another day, another vlog. So what we're doing today is I'm just doing some calls, Fia's doing some calls and touching with um touching base with some members. Basically we've cut the vlogs a little bit shorter because we're so so busy with time. Um and what we've basically done is taken some of the footage from a couple of weeks ago uh, where we were interviewing some people so I'm going to leave you with that in a minute. Basically what you're going to see is me interviewing someone in a very relaxed um, in a very relaxed manner. It's kind of more realistic and kind of opening up to myself during an interview so to make sure that I'm getting the, the the right seeing the right person when I'm doing an interview so to speak rather than a, a fake interview where you have to wear a shirt and tie and all that. So that's basically what I uh, what I'm going to leave you with at the end of this vlog. And you can hear a lot of the work going on in the background probably. Um, we're almost ready to open and we're getting all of the machinery dropped off over the next few days. And during this chat with the guy, the mentality of the team here and what we're trying to, the, the ethos of the, the gym staff environment is this growth or get better mentality. So for example, if someone comes along and works for us for six months, and they go away and they work for somebody else. I want them to have gone away from this environment with something that they can take to their next job. And we're going to support them. We're going to give them a good reference and help them along their way. If they then decide to stay after six months, for example, we then obviously we've we've benefited from that and they can then continue to grow and get better within the company. So that's the main philosophy of it is to just help people get better in life regardless of whether they're training in our gym whether they're working for us in our gym so i'll leave you with that video now and hope you enjoy it so basically problem with um, taking you on from start is like obviously you got to do your course for one. Yeah. So <clears throat> we could then in essence take you on as a PT as like a, an apprentice and then not as a PT as a gym floor, um, <coughs> call it, gym floor staff. Fitness instructor. Fitness instructor. You can then work on the floor, work with working in reception, um, do a bit of cleaning, yeah. do a bit of daily tasks, yeah. tidy it yeah. up, learn from us. So what's happening then is we're taking you from beginning, so you don't pick up any like bad habits, so to speak, that the industry might give you. So that's kind of a really, really good, like really, really good thing to be starting off in a place which is like evidence space, so to speak. Um, what's your goal? Do you want to do that? Do you yeah, to be a PT? I, w I want to become a PC. I want to better myself and do something that I enjoy because yeah. I do enjoy going to the gym. So you mentioned you might be just like sitting feet. Yeah. Have you had yeah, the yeah. test or something to speak? Uh, no. Um, they only they said the NHS can't um, fund it. Fund it. Okay. Yeah, and I've got to do it privately, and that's <coughs> one hundred and fifty pounds to do that. But well, we've been sort of. So um, I'm dyslexic. Yeah. Um, Fia's dyslexic. But you can be dyslexic. I was unaware of it though. Yeah. You, you can be dyscalculic, which is dyslexic with numbers. So what happened to me was I didn't find out until I was like twenty eight. Mm. So I turned out. I found out I was in the first year of my degree, and I got I was struggling really bad. Got halfway through the degree, got halfway through the first year, and the first assignments went in, and the lecturer went, um, You heard your results of this exam, can I have a word? He's like, I think you're dyslexic. And I just like basically got <laughs> like a stab in the chest. And I'm like, What? I'm dyslexic? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Got paid to do the test, uh, sorry, the uni paid to do the test and did the psychomatic test and found out that problem solving skills are really high, which is what you've probably done with problem solved yeah. around it. Then you the longer you go on as being dyslexic, um, the more coping mechanisms you get. So you've ended up like coping around it and like escaping like you did as well. So you pretend to know how to spell or you pretend to know how to do numbers because you're like, no one's gonna, no one's gonna take the piss out of me. So I did that for years and I got to 28 and I found out it was and now I just own it. I'm like, right. can't spell. Well, I didn't know until I was talking to you. Mm -hmm. You were like, yeah. Well, you're well dyslexic, yeah. Yeah. You own it, own it, that's what you are. Because what comes with being dyslexic is all the creativity and you're a visual thinker so you can create stuff and you can, you, you need to do a physical job because you probably need to, you, like ADHD comes with it, usually. Everything we do here is about helping people grow, helping people get better. So if you can go off and do 
a six month like job here, maybe a year, and then you go off and work somewhere else, you know, make your own yeah, gym or whatever. Happy. We're happy. Um, if you end up doing, um, uh, if you end up staying with us forever, whatever, we're even more happy because then we can help you progress. So both ends of the scale are good. Um, so I'm happy if Chris is happy. That's why I wanted you to meet. Um, but as long as you're 100 percent. Why do you want, Why do you want to be a PT? Yeah, I've always like going to the gym. I've never liked working with tools, mm. and I kind of got through into that when I was like 16. Mm. Um, just never had really an escape. How old are you? Sorry, 20. 20. So I went to, to start going to the gym. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy working out. You do the wrestling yeah. side, don't you? Yeah. So sort of a coaching thing. So we can get um, we can get some funding for. Uh, courses as well. Um, can we get 500 a month? No. Um, just just 500 for the whole six months. Oh, 500, we can get 500 for six months. Yeah, can you do, can you get that course, so you can get the course paid for it? Yeah, yeah. Separate. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so not a government thing and we can get you a wage. Yeah. That's what we do. So that's what we've been working on. Right. So then regardless whether we took them on or not, he's got the, that route to take. Right. It was my sort of thing, was okay, let's find someone with get qualified. Because okay. he's at the right age, aren't you, to get it? Yeah. Yeah, and just at the right age to qualify for the loan. Okay. So um, I'm just waiting for them to get back to me. So our thing was with you about why we thought it would be good is because when you bring someone else who's already been in the industry, you've got all the bullshit in the head as well. Yeah. And we're trying to get everyone to just do the right thing for the people. So Chris will be, probably take you through and probably bite in. Yeah, you definitely get that. Because yeah. what what we want to give to the industry is, or the, the will, so to speak, is a PT that's not just taking the course, a PT that's then progressed through personal development, you started reading, listening to books, because listening to you can read it, right? Started listening to books, you started doing like a lot of the like advanced coaching that Thea does, a lot of the um, nutrition side of stuff. So when a client comes to you, you are not just a PT, you are what we've called an empowerment coach. So you've got all of it, um, but that'll take time to get there. Don't get me wrong. Do you feel like you'd be comfortable doing classes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. I, like, I'm not like a social sure, person. I can talk to people. And, like with wrestling, we've got most of the stuff we do wrestling. Yeah. You have to explain to people. Yeah, they do yeah. the big acting, don't they? Mm. Um, so, so the classes is basically wrestling, but on a different scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.